Hi Beaters, it's me Mandy with Beautiful Open Dreams here with a free video demo on a teardrop embellished snap. This is what it looks like. Here it is standalone by itself and I will show it to you. It looks on the end of a bracelet here in my blossoming vine bracelet and also in Missouri. So it looks like a cute little teardrop shape button, but it's a snap. Yeah. And because this is a pearl, we've embellished a four millimeter pearl, it's really easy to push on it. It doesn't like hurt, it's not like sharp like a bike. Gun. So it's really easy. All we need are 11 size 11 seed beads, a 4 millimeter pearl, and a 6 millimeter sew on snap. We always embellish the top part, this part right here. This bottom part never gets embellished. So the top snaps into the bottom like so, or male into female, whichever you prefer, but that is what we will embellish. So to get started, I have about mm, 16 inches of thread. You don't really need that much, but I have that much just to, you know, make sure I have enough to work with and to tie off. So I've got my 16 inches of thread, and I'm going to pick up 11 beads, which are all <laughs> right here, my size 11 seed beads. I'm going to pick up all 11. And leaving just enough tail to tie off later, I'm going to bring this down to my tail here. So whatever is a comfortable length for you to tie off later, that's what you want to bring it down to. So this seems like a good comfortable length for me. And what I want to do is stitch up through the first bead I picked up. So this is bead one. I'll stitch through bead one. I like to roll it through around my fingers. I kind of round it out a little bit. And that did not help. <laughs> oh well, that's okay. So, um, I'm exiting the first bead I picked up. What I want to do, I want to reinforce this loop, but skip bead one. So I want to stitch through beads two all the way through 11, and skip bead one, and then stitch through beads two and three. So let's go ahead and do that. Stitch through beads two, all the way around to bead 11. And if you ever get lost in this loop, you can always remember that bead one is the bead that has the tail end coming out of it. So I see my tail thread right here, and I see where it's coming from. It's this bead, so I just skip that one. And I want to stitch through beads two and three. And when I skip that one bead, it creates a cute little teardrop shape. I have to take my pencil sometimes, mechanical pencil, and kind of just stitch it, stick it through there and stitch it through. <laughs> Can't stitch with a pencil. Try to round it out a little bit. And my apologies, actually we need to stitch through bead four as well. So after we skip bead one, we stitch through beads two, three, and four. So we want to exit bead four. There we go. So as I'm exiting bead four, I want to find bead nine in the loop. So here's one, I'm counting backwards. Here's one. Here's 10, sorry, here's one, here's 11, here's 10, here's nine. So nine is right across the street from bead four. From here, still exiting bead four, I pick up a four millimeter round, pearl, round, simmer brushes, whatever you prefer, and I'm going to stitch through bead nine. 
11, 10, 9. Stitch through the bead line. Stitch back up through the pearl. And then stitch through bead for the bead that we exited when we picked up. So now we have our teardrop shape with our pearl in. It's nice and bezeled in there. I'm going to turn this over on the back. I'm still exiting bead four. My thread is not going towards the left. I'm going to pick up the top part of my snap and I'm going to point out some holes here that we're going to be working with. These holes at the top, let me zoom in, might make it a little bit better. Ah, oh, that's much better, okay. I'm going to call this hole one and this one hole two. So I'm going to stitch up through hole one, down through hole two, and back through bead four, creating a loop. So up, up through hole one, and then down through Hold two. And remember, when I turned it over, my needle was going towards the left out of bead four. So we're going to do that and stitch left through bead four. seem kind of clumsy at first when you do this. The best way I like to look at um, sewing in um, a sew-on snap is looking at it as like a four-hole bead, a four-hole flat bead. <laughs> I'm going to do that again. Up through, up through hole one. And down through hole two. And then through bead four. It's going to be kind of slippery as well, like kind of like sliding around a little bit. That's okay. We are going to repeat these steps for bead nine. So it's going to be kind of kind of slippery and kind of sliding around. See how it's all loosey goosey? That's okay. That's perfectly fine. So now I'm exiting bead four. I want to stitch through beads five, six, seven, eight, and exit bead nine. So you have five and six, seven and eight, and here's bead nine, right here. Here's bead nine. Because the next beads are 10, 11, and then back to one. So this is bead nine, I'm exiting. I'm gonna stitch up through hole three, and down through hole four, through bead nine. Repeat that again. Up through hole three. Down through hole four. And left through bead nine. And there you go. That is your embellished snap. To tie off, I like to do a half hitch knot. <laughs> Not losing my beadwork here. To tie off a hash, half hitch knot, so I'm going to stitch through the next bead. It doesn't really matter where you want to tie off, it's up to you. But I like to take my needle and stitch under the thread, like so. Create a loop, stitch through the loop, and pull. And feel a little click. There we go, there's that click. And I think I tied 
I accidentally tied my thread around a bead here. Whoops. I don't know how I did that. But anyway, you get the gist. <laughs> you get the point of what I'm trying to do. So there is your little teardrop snap. Now as far as attaching it to a bracelet or anything like that, the bead that you would attach, that you could use to attach to a bracelet or even a never chain for a necklace is actually bead one right here. Oops, a little fuzzy there. That's better. So it's bead one. So instead of actually using this thread to tie off, you can leave a lot of thread um, to, to attach this to the end of a bracelet. Or you can tie off and then use the end of a bracelet to attach this to a bracelet, bead one. And where's my snap? Here it is. And you just snap that right on in. And you have a cute little teardrop shape button snap. Here's my blossoming bracelet. And there's a pearl here. And here's bead one. So as I exited the pearl on this bracelet, I stitched through bead one and then back down through the pearl. So that's how you could use, um, will use actually bead one to attach to your bracelet. And then You just snap it together and you have your bracelet with a nice little with a nice little finishing end. <laughs> Sorry my camera cut off. So that's how you would make the teardrop embellish snap. As far as the other end, I'm thinking about that. <laughs> I am going to unsnap this. So here it is, unsnapped. I need an extra bead. Mm, okay, this will do. And I need some thread. Hold on one sec. And then my bead off is working and someone forgot to get her, her scissors. So I'm gonna reach in here and get another needle. That wasn't quick at all. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, so I have um, a seed bead here. We're going to pretend like this is the end of a bracelet. So this is like at the end of a bracelet right here. Um, so I've got my pearl and I've got my seed bead and I stitched back down to the pearl and back up to the seed bead. So this is the end. Pretend like there is no snap right now. So exiting bead one. And this is going to be kind of loosey-goosey, so I'm going to wrap around it just as a demo. Alright, this is bead one. End of a bracelet. This is the bottom part of the snap. And I'm going to find hole one, which is right here. Call this hole one, and this one hole two. So I want to stitch through hole one, and then through hole two, and then back through bead one. And I lost my needle, but that's okay. As I pull tight, you can see how um, this 11 sits inside the well, the groove of the bottom part of the snap. So it sits under. 
You can even do this with a 15 too. And yes, the 15 does hold up. I've done this many times with size 15 seed beads. It holds up fine, so do not worry. If you're worried about it being a little too big, you can do this with a 15. Of course, you would reinforce this by going through hole one, up through hole two, and then back through bead one. Turn it over, and you can see how it sits under the snap. I'll take my snap and snap it in. There. So I've got one end of the bracelet going this way, and the other end of the bracelet going that way. Like so. Or like so. So there we are. That's your embellished snap. I hope you enjoy this video. Hope you enjoy the um, the demo, learning how to do this. And if you ever want something a new, different way of uh, um, finishing your bracelets or necklaces, maybe give this a shot. So hope you like it. Got any questions or comments? Leave them below. I'll try to remember to reply. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Happy beating. Bye.